Hi, I'm Lucy Piper. Welcome to the Nutribullet RX, the most technically advanced Nutribullet to date. So I'm going to show you a couple of different features of the Nutribullet RX. The traditional Nutriblast mode and the Super Blast mode for making heated soups and sauces. You're going to need three components. You're going to need your oversized cup, or shortcut, and you're going to need your extractor blade and of course the Nutribullet RX base. Plug in the base first and you're ready to go. So now I'm going to show you the super blast mode and to demonstrate I'm going to make a delicious soup that I love. The sweet and spicy carrot which you'll find in your hardback recipe book. Okay, this time you're going to need the super blast pitcher instead of the short cup. You're going to twist on the extractor blade, making sure it's nice and secure. Now, this must be done before you add the ingredients. So first things first, I'm going to put in a few teaspoons of shallots. And then it's really nice to add some fresh ginger. Again, a teaspoon should be just enough. And then you're going to add some carrots. In they go. And also some finely chopped cauliflower. Next up, we have got some sweet potato. Now, this will have been baked or steamed and cut into chunks and, of course, needs to be cool as well. In they go. Next up, we have our cooled vegetable stock. This is all going to go in. Delicious. And then not forgetting a few teaspoons of lemon juice. In go the lemon juice. Could not be easier. Also, a nice bit of turmeric as well. Ground turmeric. This is going to give it some great flavour. I said it was going to be spicy. And now we're going to add a little bit of pepper to season and a little bit of salt. In it goes. Okay, you're done. Now you're going to securely attach the vented two-piece Super Blast pitcher lid. Now what's very important is you remember the Super Blast pitcher lid must only be used in Super Blast mode. Never use the oversized cup, short cup or place on the Stay Fresh lid in this mode. Okay, now place the pitcher blade side down onto the power base, making sure the blade sits under the rim. To ensure it's correct, you won't be able to twist the cup in either direction. Next, you just press on the switch at the side of the power base. This will activate the motor. Then press and hold the G button on the front of the power base for two seconds. This will turn the G button from green to red and will activate a seven minute super blast extraction cycle. The unit is pre-programmed to slow down twice during the seven minute cycle to allow the ingredients to settle for improved processing and extracting. Remember, don't remove the pitcher vented lid while in super blast mode as the ingredients will be hot and may splash out. The power base will shut off automatically after seven minutes when your soup should be the perfect temperature. Now to prevent overheating, don't reheat the super blast mode for the same soup. If more heat is required, place the contents into a microwave safe container, not the pitcher, and heat to the desired temperature in the microwave. If you wish to make another soup with the RX, add the ingredients as I've just shown you. However, wait for one minute before returning the pitcher to the power base to start a new cycle. Never run more than two consecutive seven minute super blast cycles. If you wish to stop the machine at any time during super blast mode, flick the switch to off on the bottom left of the machine and wait for the motor to finish completely before removing the pitcher. The pitcher and blades will be hot, so take care when handling these and when removing the lid. Push the switch on the left-hand side on the power base to turn off the machine. And there you go. Let's take a look. Oh, delicious, piping hot, homemade, nutritious, sweet and spicy carrot soup. Can't wait to try it.